According to a new report in The Playlist, The Hunger Games and Seabiscuit director Gary Ross has been set to helm an all-female Ocean's Eleven movie, with Sandra Bullock in the lead. According to the report, original director Steven Soderbergh and franchise star George Clooney have been working on the project for over a year now, and that it's unclear how directly connected this remake slash reboot slash sequel slash spinoff <laughs> will be to the Soderbergh pictures, but that Clooney's Danny Ocean may make an appearance. Dennis, do you buy or sell the sounds of an all-female Ocean's Eleven? film i'm gonna sell it but not because it's an all-female oceans 11 i i'm looking forward to this ghostbusters remake i think it's a good fit i am selling it because it, i feel like it's too soon oceans 13 came out in 2007 we're not that far removed from it and so i don't see the purpose of kind of remaking or making a spin off of it and i, I don't mind the all-female thing like i said but you know, I, I think maybe five, ten years from now. I, the Ocean's Eleven was a, a franchise I enjoyed, but I, I don't. I'm not clamoring for some sort of spinoff or remake. Josh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sell it, and I, for the same reasons, I would love to see an all-female Ocean's Eleven, but I don't. I, I think it comes with that curse of the title kind of a thing. I would love to see an all-male, all-female like heist movie, but you don't have to call it Ocean's Eleven if it has similar tones. <laughs> but if, like, if Sandra Bullock's Danny Ocean's sister or something like that, and that's the angle they play. I could kind of see that, but seeing an all-female heist movie, that sounds amazing. Selling it as an Ocean's Eleven is what I'm actually selling as the problem. Wow, that's big buy for me, actually. I think everything in this sounds good. Gary Ross is an exceptional director and, and writer and storyteller. Soderbergh and Clooney have been developing this story themselves, and it's going to tie in with the original Ocean's Eleven. I'm hoping there's going to be a story plot or a plot point that makes it necessary we need an all-female team, and that will feed right into it. I, I gotta tell you guys, I, you mentioned it being too soon from 2007. I'm almost feeling like it might be a little bit too late uh, from 2000. That would be my one hitch on it. But I look across the board on this, and I, I'm a sucker for heist movies. I like what they did with all the original Ocean's films. They declined in quality as they went, but even by the last one, I enjoyed Brother, it. You like the second one more than the third one? No, or I thought they. Oh, so, yes, I did actually. Really? Yeah, a little, really? yeah, a little wow. bit. A little, I, I, I know I'm rather not a fan of it. But, but I liked, but I I liked the them all. One. I agree. Yeah. I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed them all personally, but. I don't see anything in this other than the fact that I think it might be a little bit too late. So for me personally, it's going to be a buy. I tentatively buy it. And I say that because I just don't want it to be like, well, this is Samantha Ocean, Danny's <laughs> sister. And now she runs her own crew and they all happen to be female. Derpy, derpy, derpy. Yeah, it just become, it just become, I don't want it to become shtick. I don't want it to become a gimmick because I like the idea. Like if they put together a story to where Sandra Bullock is the Danny Ocean type uh, with a capable crew be if it's all female, if it's half female, half men, whatever, whatever it is. As long if it works, then great. I just uh, sometimes I don't want it to just be like anytime there's a fad. You know, like we yeah. got a female yeah. Ghostbusters, we got a female uh, Expendables. Now we're gonna have a female Danny Oceans. It's like great if it works, then great. I just I, I think that it damages properties in general, and it could damage. It, and I think it's it will kind of almost like a setback as well too. Unless it works, if the story because, like you yeah. said, Ross is a great director. So yeah. if they have a great take with George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, they're like, no, 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 this female prequel, sequel, reboot, whatever, whatever it is, this further telling slash, of the slash, ocean, slash. whatever it is, this is what we want to tell, and this could work. And this is the next telling of the story, and we have an all female oceans uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, I'm in. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of under the gun here a little bit, proverbially, because. Um, if I don't buy something with Gary Ross in it, I'm in trouble at home because <laughs> um, Big is Anne's all no, you're time. You're thinking of Gary Marshall. Oh, my. Gary, Gary Ross is yeah. uh, Hunger Games. He did Hunger Games. Yeah, he directed Hunger Games and see, but he wrote Big. No, you're thinking of Gary Marshall. Penny Marshall directed it. And Gary, Gary I'm Marshall. telling I'm going to look it up and I'm going to I'm going to really? embarrass myself when I find out I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I will okay. say, I, I will, like we said last night, I'll go see anything. Seabiscuit. Yes, he, did. he directed Seabiscuit. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will go right. see anything maybe with Sandra Bullock in it. I'll just say that. So, Heist 11, whatever. I love Sandra. Bullock. Actually, was the lone female at the table, Shane, I'm just curious. What did you What do you think about you're the right. idea of? Uh, you're right. I apologize. Gary Ross. I apologize. Wow. I, I love it. I love it. I really do. I think it'll be good. And Sandra Bullock is one of my favorites. Like she's amazing. Yeah. So I will. I want to see anything she's in. Always. Uh, John Campia. I think you owe him lunch or I something. I know that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. One out of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's not get uh, too carried away here. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.